What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you already subscribed, you probably already know how this goes. So today we got this in the mail. It is pretty much this beautiful carbon fiber strut bar. And yeah, let me just show you what the other stuff that it came with. It pretty much comes with this bracket. This is for the driver's side, and then it also has the passenger side one. And it comes with like all this hardware, but now let me let me just demonstrate how we're gonna the tools we're gonna need for this procedure. So right now I'm just like throwing a guess right now. But I have this torque wrench that I got off, off Amazon. It was only like 40 bucks. But the little guide that ECS Tuning provides says that you're gonna need to torque these big bolts that go right here to a specific like strength. And you're also gonna need a 13 millimeter Allen socket, a 16 millimeter Allen socket, and this six, I believe it's a six millimeter Allen head for these bolts right here. I'm not, this is just like a guess right now, but once I get to the car, I'll show you what I actually end up using. And I also noticed that it comes with these like extra bolts, like they're already mounted right there. So I don't, I'm guessing they just threw them in extra, but now let's go to the car and show you how to, the installation works. So the first thing that's not in the instructions is that this thing, this hose right here is going to be zip tied to this thing. Pretty much all I did was I grabbed my knife, I cut the zip tie off, then this thing as you can see, it's, it has thread in it, so all you do is just twist it counterclockwise and spin it out. And now, let's just get to the rest of it. An extra step that I'm going to be taking is, I wired my light-up emblem right here, but I'm going to have to take it off so I can release that bolt so we can install the carbon fiber strut bar. So pretty much all I have here is my breaker bar with the 16 millimeter socket. And we're just going to take off these two bolts right here and point it over there and the two over there. Now, let's just break it out. Once you loosen it enough with the breaker bar, you can just go in with your ratchet tool and it should come out fairly easy. Once you do this for both sides, I'll teach you how to install the strut bar correctly. So before you actually tighten these to the correct foot pounds, I'll have it down in the description of the exact foot pounds that each bolt is supposed to have. But according to the instructions right here, these two bolts right here are supposed to be at 30 foot pounds of torque. Then you do a 90 degree, like an extra one. And over here, you're gonna put, wait, okay. So right here you can tell that this is the smaller hole. This one goes on the, this one goes on the driver's side and the bigger hole goes on the passenger side. You're gonna put your little lock washer that's provided and this one right here. This one, if I'm not mistaken, should be tightened to 60 foot pounds of torque. So now I'm just gonna go, tighten it but not to the full capacity not with this yet I need to put the brace first so as I was putting back in these bolts right here the thread in the actual hole was just gone so I went to O'Reilly and I rented out this thread maker kit and the exact one I'm using to remake the thread is the M10 times 1.5 basically all you do with if you're running into the same issue is you just put this into the little hole and this little allen bit is a 13 socket so I'm basically just tightening it and then once you tighten it you want to like tighten and loosen until you get all the way to the bottom and you remake the whole thread I had to do that for this hole right here and for those two over there so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to make it for this one too. 
I'll get back to y'all once I have the other bracket installed. All right, so pretty much after restoring the thread, I put the bracket in. I didn't fully tighten this. As you can see, it's still a little loose. And over here, you're gonna want a 10 millimeter key to get there because you cannot get there from the top because it's like right smack in the middle. The one over here, you can get to it with a socket, but that one over there, you're going to need a key. This is still also a little loose. So now it's just time to put the carbon fiber part. All right, so pretty much I just loosely put this and I'm tightening these bolts first. That one I already put it at, I believe it was 16 foot pounds of torque. And over here, I'm just, it's supposed to be seven foot pounds of torque, but I'm honestly just guessing it because I cannot use any torque wrench on this bolt. So first I'm just gonna tighten these and then I'll tighten this part. And lastly, I'll go for these big ones. So over here I have my six millimeter Allen head, which is gonna go right here. Over here I have my 13 millimeter Allen head socket. So pretty much all you do is just hold this over here and then just spin one at a time and tighten it. And you're gonna wanna do this for both sides. I'll get to you once I have tightened both sides. All right, so now that I have that tightened in, that, and I have this tightened in, so this isn't moving anywhere. Now it's just time to tighten these four bolts. And that should be to 40 newton meters. If I'm, I mean 40 foot pounds of torque. If I'm incorrect, I'll correct myself with the little like thing right there. I'll get to I'll get back to y'all once I'm done tightening everything. So the instructions say to tighten to 30 foot pounds of torque those bolts right there, which I did. And now I grab my breaker bar that and it says to add an extra 90 degree turn. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it for one bolt first and then I'll tell you guys how I feel it. So honestly I wasn't even able to add that much more torque to it with the breaker bar. So I just did it till like it felt good. Like when I felt that I wasn't gonna strip the bolt. And right here I just rewired my ground for my light up emblem. Now it's just time to drive it and say my opinion on it. All right guys, so right now I'm pretty much, it's the next day and I'm returning the tool I borrowed from O'Reilly. I know I said I was gonna like review the product but honestly the video is already long enough so Stay, so make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that update video on how I ended up liking this product. I'm Gio and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.